Hey everyone, um, I wrote this song and I felt I just had to get this out to the world. Um, the idea for the song came to me when I went to the store to pick up some milk. They didn't have any milk. So right then and there I just felt hopeless. So I tried going to a different store. And guess what? They had milk. I just felt so great. Then I went to get my wallet out and I'd left it at home. So that was a pretty bad start to a day. And I went outside to go get in my car to get my wallet. And I found this little dog. He was cold and wet and homeless. And I knew that I had to take him home and give him a, give him a family. So I did. And this dog really changed my life. You know, he, uh, he gave me so many responsibilities. And, but he was my best friend. The dog ran away and I had to go chase him down, but I didn't have a car anymore because it got uh, repossessed. So I had to go by foot. I hitchhiked a couple of times. It, it was a very hard experience. Um, on my travel there, I stopped at a McDonald's and at the McDonald's, I met this man eating a Big Mac. And I said, hey, you didn't happen to see this dog, did you? And I showed him the uh, picture. He said, no, uh, I, I've never seen this dog before, but you look like a musician and I'm part of a record label. Would you like to be signed? Hadn't even heard me or anything. He just signed me. I said, sure, man. That sounds amazing. I do play guitar. Um, I haven't played very long, though, only like two weeks. But I didn't tell him that because, you know, I wanted to be rich. So I took the deal. Uh, he flew me out to Hollywood. I recorded one record. Um, literally nobody bought it. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. Some people did buy it, but it was for a mass burning because it was so terrible. So then I became homeless, living in Los Angeles, had no home. I, I still needed a puppy. I never got any milk. I knew I had to do something about it. So one day I was begging for change and this man came along, told me he was a clown. He told me, hey, you look like you could be a clown. So he taught me the ways of being a clown and he guided me there. So I became a professional clown. And one day at a kid's birthday party, I was clowning it up. And the kid, he, um, he apparently didn't like clowns. He was very afraid of them. So he need me in my nads. And I had to go to the hospital because the bruise was so bad. I woke up in the hospital and next to me was the nurse. The nurse told me I had eight days to live. So I knew I had to spend these eight days the best I could. I went to Paris. I went rock climbing. I did all these crazy things, even though it was very painful because my nuts were hurting so bad. But it was so, so worth it. Then I was at the Grand Canyon, just loving life, and I saw this bike. This was the prettiest bike I've ever seen, and it appeared to not have an owner. And then I, I took the bike, even though I probably stole it. It probably was stolen. It probably did have an owner. It was a very nice bike. But anyway, I fell in love with this bike. I rode it everywhere. And one day it was rainy outside. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go on a bike ride. I've never rode in the rain before. It might be fun. So I rode it through the rain and went through this puddle. And the bike tire disintegrated. I mean, like, it, it, was, it was ruined. And I can never ride this bike again. So anyway, I wrote this song about that bike that I just ruined. And I, I learned to never ride bike in the rain again. So the name of the song is when you go to the store to buy some milk, sometimes you won't find the milk and something else will come your way, like a bike that you can't ride in the rain because riding it in puddles will ruin the tires. Here it goes.